SIT India held its 7th edition of the Wealth Management Conference in Mumbai recently. The event discussed at length the landscape of wealth management, right investment strategy, risk of macroeconomic accidents, wealth management and family office with industry experts. Money9 was at the event and brings you exclusive insights from the industry experts. Himali Patel of Money9 speaks to Ashish P. Somaya of White Oak Capital Mutual Funds. Let's take a look. This is Himali from Money9 and today with us we have Ashish Somaya who is the CEO of White Oak Capital Mutual Fund. Welcome sir. Thank you. Sir, I'll start with first question. So according to you, with the current market scenario, given high inflation and market uncertainty, where is the equity mutual fund industry heading towards? And is this the right time for any investor to put their money in the equity mutual funds? So, you know, I think uh, interest rates and inflation, uh, needless to say, as we know, they are, you know, cyclical uh, in nature. And uh, any kind of uptick or traction or growth in the economy, uh, you know, rising inflation, rising interest rates to the extent uh, that they are a forewarner of rising economic activity, I don't think they are necessarily uh, bad events to happen. Right. Uh, on the other hand, if you really ask me, before, co before COVID came, uh, we had practically 3.5 to 4 percent GDP growth. Uh, we had very poor credit offtake, low interest rates, and practically 2 percent inflation. Now, actually, if you ask me, those were more concerning signs than today, right. where we are seeing you know better economic activity, we are seeing rising credit offtake, and that obviously should to an extent result in rising interest rates and inflation. Now, it's not that everything about this is positive to the extent that our interest rate decisions. Uh, are influenced by what is happening in US uh, and you know because of their tight monetary conditions. I think to that extent definitely it's a bit of a, a head, headwind. But I think uh, you know these macros eventually the market overcomes uh, and you know when you are buying good companies you know ultimately mutual funds are meant to beat the benchmark, uh, invest in good businesses with a medium to long term perspective. So I think these are just cyclical phenomena which we take in our stride. Not everything about it is negative really. And I don't think it is going to impact in any manner, uh, you know, how equity mutual funds conduct themselves or how they fulfill the needs of investors. Right. So, so given the situation, so do you have any strategy for the investor, you know, through which they can enter in the equity mutual funds right now? See, I think the current scenario uh, is in that sense, uh, you know, uh, not like a crystal clear right. runway kind of thing. I mean, if you see the current scenario, it is actually, you know, punctuated by a very strong economic performance in India, at least a much better performance compared to the pre-COVID uh, scenario. It is also backed up by improving cash flows and profitability for corporates, very healthy balance sheets, banks are pretty much cleaned up. So my sense is that, you know, if you see the current scenario, it is strong domestic conditions, but then we have some imported problems, you know, related to... Uh, thankfully, metal and commodity prices are down, oil has also started coming down, but we still have some geopolitics and some US economy related issues to negotiate. Right. So as far as strategy is concerned, you know, given this scenario, as far as strategy is concerned, uh, we always tell investors that while you should be investing in equity, because right. for reasons I explained earlier, all of this will just be taken in the stride. So you should be investing in equity mutual funds, but our advice has been that you know you should spread your money from now till say maybe December or January. Right. Uh, the reason is because how we get out of these imported problems and how the market actually shapes up over the next uh, you know after this series of events is over. By then you know you'll also have some clarity in terms of how U.S. economy performs, what the stance of the U.S. Fed is going to be. So all the if you spread your money from now till December, my sense is all these events will be behind us. Right. Uh, and, you know, people will get a gradual or a smooth entry into the uh, markets. Fair enough, sir. Uh, sir, c going to second question, if I am a new investor, so what are the few crucial parameters that I should uh, see before investing in the equity mutual funds? Because uh, for obviously, I have no knowledge regarding the mutual funds. Sometimes for the layman investor, it gets very difficult for them to how to invest. Like we have heard about check the past ratios and past returns, but any few uh, parameters you can suggest? See, I think, you know, the whole explosion of digital channels right. uh, has resulted in availability and access. But I think somewhere it has also resulted in a misplaced notion that all of this is meant to be DIY or Correct. do it yourself, right? 
I think that investing is as challenging as any other uh, field. Right. Correct. So first of all, uh, you know, while by all means you should access the market because access is easy. So whether it's mutual funds, stock markets, I think access is easy and it's a must. So everybody must access it. But I think you need to access it with the right framework, with the right side of uh, right set of advice. Right. And uh, you know, so I think consulting any financial advisor uh, would be a great idea. Taking inputs from others would be a good idea. But keeping all that uh, as say a required you know necessary condition. Beyond that, let's say if somebody insists that they would like to do it themselves, or right. you know, uh, three four things to look at. See, first is that. When you are acquainting yourself, let's say you're new to equity mutual funds, let's say you're new to the equity market, right. you don't need to start straight by saying that, okay, which is the best stock, which is the best mutual fund, which sector to invest in. I think that when you're trying to enter, the best way to enter is to buy a Nifty 500 fund. Right. Right. So if you don't know, I always tell people that if you don't know what to buy, you buy the market. Right. I right. Think so. uh, it's on a lighter note, it's like getting the whole zoo instead of figuring out uh, which animal, correct? Because that is the best way to wet your feet. That's the best way to enter the asset class and then kind of understand how things go. So either a Nifty 500 fund or a flexi cap, multi cap mutual right. fund. I think that is one thing to begin with. Second is everybody has need for a liquid fund. You know, you keep your money idle. So maybe a liquid fund is a good way. And the third is that when you're investing in equity or flexi cap or multi cap, Best is to start by way of doing these SIPs because most people earn an income every month right, and they feel the need to save every month. Right. So I think these are a few things to keep in mind. Start slow, start in a simple manner and then as you gain knowledge, okay. uh, you can do better or okay. be, take more complex things. But I think at all points in time, ideal would be to get the right advice. Right, sir. Fair enough, sir. I completely agree with you on that. Advice is the most important thing which people don't get it. Like, Absolutely. You know? Right. So, sir, coming to last question. So, for the second half of this current year, what is your outlook on mutual fund industry and any new particular trends that investor can witness going forward? Because we, everyone knows that, you know, invest through SIP, but yeah. apart from that, any new trends that they can look forward? No, see, I think that, uh, well, yes, you know, to the extent that mutual fund industry keeps innovating, comes with new products, etc. To that extent, I don't, uh, I wouldn't uh, blame people for looking for a trend. Right. Uh, but really, if you ask me, it's not about any trends. Correct. It's meant to be as simple and as boring uh, as it's supposed to be. And you know, a lot of new products come in. Let me tell you very honestly, uh, not all products are meant for all investors. Not all are relevant for everybody. Now, if somebody launches a thematic ETF or a sectoral index fund, right. I think that is basically they are trying to give you building blocks. You know, some of these new funds and new trends which come, you should see them more like Lego blocks or right. new blocks, building blocks which are being provided to fulfill an asset allocation or a strategy. Right. So from that perspective, I think, you know, innovation keeps happening, new funds and new ideas keep coming in, but everybody needs to step back and think, is this relevant for me or not? And if at all, then what role is it going to play in my uh, portfolio? So I think innovation is a continuous process. You will see more things happening, but at an individual investor level, I think they need to stay focused on their goal and they need to uh, keep contextualizing what Correct. is relevant for them. Correct, sir. So and about the uh, market outlook in next few months, according to you would be? Uh... See, I think that next three to six months may be a bit unpredictable. Uh, that's the reason why I said that anybody investing now should spread their investment over the next three to six months. But if you ask me even a medium term, let's say if you ask me 18 months from now, 18 to 24 months from now, my sense is that we'll be in a much more constructive uh, scenario. You know, last one year the market has practically gone nowhere and uh, it's been uh, quite draining on investors who are watching it. But if you ask me 12 to 18 months from now, I think we would have looked through this right. and ultimately See, there is geopolitics, there is US economy, there is commodity and oil, all that happens. But ultimately, our uh, market, our currency, our interest rates, they will reflect our reality, which is that of significant domestic growth. Right. And US interest rates, US markets and US currency will reflect their economic reality, which currently seems to be suggesting right. a kind of at least a slowdown. Right. Right? So we should stay focused on our domestic conditions and I think if we look through this turbulence in the next 18 to 24 months, we'll be in a much better uh, market levels, right. much better scenario. So any particular sector you are betting on? 
So, you know, right. personally, my firm as well as me, uh, we are not sectoral or thematic or top-down investors at all. Right. Uh, you know, because generally themes or sectors come into the limelight after they have performed. Ab initio or in advance, it's not possible to forecast macros and hence, you know, what themes or what sectors the macros will end up impacting, I think that also is unforecastable. So we generally run diversified portfolios. Of course, our views are bottom up and they get manifested in terms of what type of exposure we have in a sector or for a particular market cap. Right. So the bottom up influences ultimately what we execute. But ab initio, we never take any top down calls or we don't have any sectoral bets. Right. So if you were to see our portfolios, you will find that we are invested in practically every sector. Correct. Fair enough, sir. Uh, what is your thought on the 7th India Wealth Management uh, Conference today? I think it's a deep honor, you know, for me to be here and participate. I think the CFA Society uh, in India obviously is known for uh, taking initiative, you know, whether it's the IWMC or the IIC India Investment Conference or the Value Investing Forum or the FinTech uh, Conference. I think series of events that they do through the year, uh, they definitely add a lot of value to the investing community and to investors at large. So definitely it's an honor uh, to have been present uh, out here. Also, I think it's a special occasion because, you know, post pandemic, this right. is the first large scale event Correct. which is happening offline. Uh, so, you know, my best wishes to the CFA Society and I hope that they continue the good work. Fair enough. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.